Hey guys, and welcome back to the online learning space. Today we're going to look at how to animate in Adobe Photoshop. Here is an example of an animation that I've created and it's quite simple to do. And all that I'm doing here is every frame has a different part of the brush that goes around the cut. Now I'll show you how to do this because it is quite simple. So firstly, I'm going to start with a new Photoshop document. Now my resolution is 1280 by 720. I'm going to put my car image that I downloaded from pexels.com in here. So there's my car. I need to make sure that I'm working with motion. So I need to make sure that that's clicked. And then you should see this button at the bottom which says create video timeline. So if I create that, now it's created a new layer for me. We want another layer on top of that where we are going to you know, actually use the animation and start to draw with our brush. So I'm just going to go to layer, video layers, new blank video layer. Now before we get started, there are a few options that we have to tick. If we go over here and we tick enable onion skins, and we also want to go into our onion skin options and just make sure that the blend mode is on normal. Now what an onion skin is, is basically in animation, the onion skin is the previous frame. So you can see actually what it is that you were doing before. So once you have that, I want you to go and get a brush and the brush doesn't have to be that big in size. Well, depending on the, the size of the graphic that you're starting with. But I do want it at 100% hardness and 100% opacity as well. Now you can change the color if you really want. So maybe I'll go for something like uh, an orange. And another tip is if you enable timeline shortcuts, you'll simplify a lot of your work because you can press right arrow keys to move to the next frame. So I'll show you how to animate. Firstly, I'm going to start to draw on my around my car. And then I'm going to click this button over here, which is next frame. Now you can see that that gets dulled out because this is the onion skin at, at work. So now I know that I've drawn up to there in that first frame. So my second frame, I'm going to draw it a little bit more and I'm going to repeat this process. Now, the more frames that you have, the better the animation is going to look. Now, sometimes it can get a little bit tedious, but my advice is to persevere with it because the end result will look a whole lot better. You can test it and play it back. So I'm just going to put this, which is the end of the loop, to over here. And I'm just going to make sure my loop playback is enabled. Um, if you wanted to change the timeline frame settings, you can go over here. Now, standard you know, um, animation uses 24 or 25 frames per second. But if you feel that that's too quick, then you can always change it over here. So if we preview that, it looks something like this. All right, and then that's just constantly going to loop. Now, every cell or every frame is different. And this is the basis of cell-based animation. Anyways, once you're happy with your, uh, with your work, so once you're happy with your animation, you can actually render this. Now to render it, it's quite simple. All you have to do is go to File, um, export render video and then just uh, give it a name you can uh, change the settings if you like and then just click render and once it's rendered you have the mp4 file where you can do some you know further editing in premiere or after effects anyways guys thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.